Who doggy? What is this Amazon original? I do like it when the moral of the story is that you deserve more pay and maybe a day off and maybe no one should own the factory at all. So Guava Island came out a few weeks ago to zero fanfare. Like I didn't hear about this thing from anyone. Then again, I am pretty white and the algorithm knows that so maybe they just don't advertise this stuff to me but like love Childish Gambino I love it so much <laughs> oh yeah did I mention this movie has fucking Donald Glover and Rihanna in it this movie has fucking Rihanna in it does she sing no but Donald Glover does so but it is all about work 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 so Guava Island is set up like a folk tale Shout out to this inner text. Am I the worst YouTuber? Probably not. All right, idiot. I'm an idiot. So the story is introduced like a fairy tale by Rihanna, who's apparently here to look worried, look concerned, look kind of happy and tell the story and then look fierce. But not the same. No singing, Rihanna. No, no, no. Are you thinking of singing? No. God, does Rihanna look amazing in everything? Rihanna just always looks amazing. She's more than her looks, but she looks amazing. So Guava Island simplifies the folk myth and simplifies our understanding of manufacturing and an economy by giving us this economy of Guava Island, where Donald Glover's role is the little simplified folk hero. The direct want of the movie and the hero is to put on a music festival, but the repercussions of that festival would be the next day everyone would want the day off of work and they just wouldn't show up to work because they would have partied all night. Because man, people, because you go hard and you go hard. Everyone. And Donald Glover sings several of his Childish Gambino songs, but it, they're inserted into the movie like Mamma Mia style. This is America has a different meaning when inserted into this movie than it did in all of the interpretations on YouTube. Because it's ideas. not just saying, you know, that there's a, sp a spectacle and that people are shot and weapons are cared for more than black people. In this one, it's saying anywhere that capitalism exists is America because you're making money for someone else. Which not only serves as like a way of saying like this is capitalism but also serves as a way of saying that this movie is talking about america but everywhere but the goal of the hero and of the people is to have this festival and having that festival means having a day off so why is the goal to have a day off instead of like make a union or get a weekend or get some grand labor hour thing because this is a very simplified movie. It's a simplified economy. There are not very many jobs here. The major jobs are sewing and working at the docks. That's manufacturing and shipping. So everything is simplified in this movie and out front. It's hard to give a negative reading to this movie or not really know what's going on. Even the texts that don't like this movie, that think it's a bit simple, and know what it's saying, but they don't know why it is saying it. I really don't blame anyone for thinking this movie is weird or not getting it or just being put off, because it is a very strange movie. It doesn't quite play with surrealism like some of Donald Glover's other work, but there is other work where he's shot in a tropical setting and then surreal paranormal things happen. And I expected that in this one because I really didn't know what to expect because it's such a weird tone. There are adults swearing on camera, but there are also children and there's also like this very like, oh, we're going to have a fun festival vibe. And again, the rules are simplified. Watching it, you're not sure who this is supposed to be for. And then there are guns used on screen, displayed with guards, and somebody gets shot a lot very viscerally very for sure shot and it's very weird when the movie ends because our hero dies but is triumphant because the people get a day off and there's a funeral but everyone's happy and dancing which uh, to be fair i don't see how you can be sad and dance like maybe i could try it maybe i could try to be sad and dance maybe kesha can try it dance with tears in your eyes? I don't think I could be sad and dance. 
like, uh, agreed. <laughs> I can think and dance, but I don't think I can be sad and dance. I have a video about thinking and dancing. That's fun. So I don't, I don't blame the cast of Hundreds for smiling as they're dancing at this funeral at the end of the movie. Guava Island also shows a different kind of protest and resistance to power. Frankly, a lot more fun resistance of power. If there are only two jobs that everyone has, everyone just has to not show up to work and then there's essentially a strike. They're not at work because they're partying and dancing and I think strikes would be a lot cooler if people dance more. You can't be sad and dance. I mean, that's a whole lot more fun than standing on the streets and hoping people honk at your sign and waiting for someone else to negotiate or just not going to work, bro. Fire everyone, go ahead. And Red, who is the owner of both the factory and the docks and ship silk around the world, Red has a response that is not uncommon to other people that own things. We have a rich 150 year history of strikes, of workers coming together and with 10, how, how could you think that 300,000 workers could be defeated in a strike, but it's happened. And the tactics used by people to break strikes are infiltrating the group, assassinations, police violence, state violence. There are several strikes where the National Guard have been called in to attack the strikers. And there's a lot of public opinion that has to do with whether a strike will pass or fail. And sometimes unrelated assassinations attempts, such as the Homestead strike, where unrelated people attempted to assassinate the man who was in charge of breaking up the strikes, made public opinion of the strike fall. And then the president was able to bring in troops and they were able to bust down that union. And the workers had to have their decreased steel wage. It's insane. But unlike the homestead strikes or any strikes that we have where also public opinion plays in, in Guava Island it's simplified because there's everyone as a worker, so everyone has their own public opinion in there. <laughs> they are the public. And in order to keep the public down, Red uses his money and his power to try to buy off the leaders of the movement. He tries to pay our hero to leave the island and not perform. When that fails, he uses violence, hiring people to murder him. The way power invests us in America is very complicated by design. It wasn't too long ago where there wasn't any colonial powers in America, and we could see how the Native Americans lived, how they thought the land belonged to everyone, how they were able to help each other, have disputes with each other, were able to trade with each other, and technically still keep up the longest running trade agreement and peace treaty in existence. Thanks, Hiawatha. You look it up, Hiawatha. The stances of colonialism and white identity, the white man's burden, so muck up and confuse the power dynamics that exist in America that we, as in a, the majority of people in America, uh, associate themselves with the people that abused power in colonial era America. And colonial mentality and thoughts are informed by feudal mentality of thoughts, where there wasn't very much recorded history, and kings could say they extended all the way back to when God told us to do things. Kings can claim that they're the rightful heirs to the land, when, like, really, if you go back far enough, it was just a bunch of strong guys telling everyone they're in charge, like with armies or not. It's, it's complicated. Complicated, complicated. We associate ourselves with manifest destiny, and we confuse up the power dynamics of was it the normal people doing it or were people being used by big manufacturers in order to then conquer the land and so a few men can get rich. The few men like Rockefeller and Carnegie whose names still live in existence in our famous buildings like in New York but were in charge of doing the biggest union busting and setting us up for global warming in the long haul by, you know, attacking public transit and making it buses. It's insane. It's a, Our history is messed up and insane and long. Guava Islands is shorter and simpler. In Guava Island, they remember a time when there was no men on the island, where no one claimed the silkworms and the silk, and it was natural. It's simplified. 
everyone can support everyone because everybody works together and everybody knows that their enemy, that the person keeping them down, the person with all the control, is Red. Everyone knows that Red controls the radio station. Everyone knows that Red sets the hours for the docks and for the workers. Everyone knows that Red owns the armies that keep everyone in line. Nobody can go and tell anybody else because everybody already knows. Red already owns everything. The only way for him to become richer and wealthier is for him to pay his workers less, for him to make his workers work harder. And the text, what the movie is saying, is that this is America. Anywhere where an owner can assert his will upon the people for scraps is America. Ladies and gentlemen, please hand in your passports. Welcome to the United States land of the free where you, yes, even you, can be your own boss for a price. We just want to party. Party just for you. We just want the money. Money just from you. I know you want to have it. The textual struggle in this isn't to dethrone Red, to bring the land to the people, make it so that the people own the means, the factories, the docks, in order to become wealthy, or at least make their lives sustainable and happy. The text is for a single day off. So now we take it down to interpreter, consumer of the art. What can we do with one day off? There are people that are not pleased with this goal of one day off being the point of the film. People are like, this story should be more complicated. There was more being said in This Is America. This was much subtler when it was Atlanta. People are not pleased that this art seems to be taking this baby road. People want another album to listen to. They want something else that wasn't this movie. But I'm gonna propose that maybe this art is simpler because it has to be. Because with all the other art, the art that was funnier and subtler and more exciting, Maybe nothing happened because of that. There hasn't been a great revolution. People haven't started helping the people from Atlanta. We still have a Republican who is president giving tax breaks to the wealthiest people. Giving more to the wealthiest people. Help to the people that need the least help. Help to the people who own the means by which we produce everything. All of the goods. All of the wealth. The means which are only run by the workers, and only exist because of workers. Maybe we need a project that is a little bit simpler in order to say this is what we're lacking. This is who our enemy is. There are many reds that we need to defeat. Maybe the story is meant to be unsatisfying. A day off is very underwhelming when we got the weekend a couple hundred years ago. We invented labor strikes. We invented Labor Day. Our unions have already fought for a 40-hour work week. It's very underwhelming to see something where the goal is one day off, when we get two days off a week, ideally. In our constitution, it says that we have the right to life. And maybe that should be a good life, where we're taken care of and where we're healthy, and where we have a job and a purpose and are free to interact with one another and have relationships how we pl please how we choose. And maybe there needs to be a piece of art that takes us back a little bit. Takes us back to a time when we just fought for one day off. Takes us back to a time where no one owned the land. And it had to be taken by force. Then there's the other wrinkle that this is only available on Amazon Prime. Amazon, like several other streaming services, like Netflix, are buying up more and more original programming so that people can use their service, buy their service, and feel like their service has enough content to be used. They look at it as simply content. They don't look at it as art. They don't look at it as value, as culture. It's content for them. Content for us to consume and forget about so they can consume something else so that they can keep paying for stuff. We live in a society. This is one way which our society delivers content. Maybe now that there's more and more content being put out into the world, professionally produced, written, thoughtful, maybe some of that content can be subversive rather than add to the spectacle, the distraction 
of seeing our working conditions. Donald Glover and Hiro Murai, who was the director, and, and for that matter also Rihanna, do not own Guava Island. And when you have those, as per the agreement of the Directors Guild, the Writers Guild, the Actors Guild, which are all unions, as per those requirements, any money that film, piece of art, song makes, royalties come back to the people who made it. Now, not the crew, but the major writer credit. And as long as Amazon owns it, they're not going to stop distributing it. They're going to have it for free on Prime for people to watch. It is a media that is a piece of rebellion. And it can be used to help the corporate machine. It's a revolutionary idea packaged and sold back to people to consume. Like a festival where you go to and you sing and you dance for a night and you sleep the next day and you are well rested and ready to be productive again when you go to work the next day. No message alone is action. But if the message is simple enough, loud enough, clear enough, it can be used to goad people onto action. It can be looked at as a way to amplify a message of action. It can be looked back on in a simpler time. It can look back on a time of folk heroes. It can look back on a time when no one owned the land. How it is as silly for one person to own all of the means of production as it is for 10, as it is for 100 people to own all of the jobs in a country. They are equally ridiculous ideas. Just because it isn't simplified doesn't mean our current structure in America isn't ridiculous. There was a time when stories like this and folk heroes were folk tales. They were not distributed by a company. They were passed on from person to person. The story was told of deceit and willpower and hope that would help the people. Guava Island remembers a time when no one owned the resources of nature. How all of our productivity had its genesis in the silk spun by a little worm. Maybe you need to remember a time when it was simpler. Maybe you need another day off and you need to get paid more. Because you are what makes everything run. And it was all made for you. And maybe there's a time again where all of the production can be owned by us. Where everyone runs everything instead of a few dozen shady, rich, probably perverted people. So I still have this movie while scrolling through my mother's Amazon account. <laughs> oh god, I'm the best. I uh, just the best. Should I put up the I'm telling you none of my nails are in dry. Work 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 work. None of my nails are in that work 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 work. Oh jeez, I forgot. Na, 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 na. Outros. This is na, this is YouTube, na, 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 right? You need outros. So uh, yeah, thanks, Mary please, Richards. This was Thought Ray. Baby, please leave comments below leave. about what you think about simplified Something stories and if you watched oh, Guava no. Island and Another if you were disinterested know, by it or if you didn't even know it was out because you might not have known it was out and I might also I mean, deceptively tag this other things uh, tell me if you're inspired to you ask for more money and days off because so am I uh, drop me a leak we'll Why join the union together it'll be great I'll fight for you I'll stand out in the street trying, and hold a sign it'll be great thanks boo I said work La 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 turn 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 Okay you need to get done 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 that work come over Just say slow the motion You don't need anything